Right folks, I'm just shit having a little tiny break. Got to the top now, more or less, of the hill. I'll be branching off in a minute up just up there as a junction. And I'll be going up that way, I think. I'll just soon know when I get there. Um yeah, it wasn't so bad. Now, I I felt that was easier than when I first ever done it a few years back. When I first ever climbed it, I thought it was awful. That's why last ta last year, I wouldn't come up it. I went the other way, but Weakham Hill was quite steep. But it's only this last bit that's... Um, I've done very well. I did a bit of Roman walking, which is head down, small steps... As mentioned on other videos, other hikes, where I mentioned the Germans or the Scandinavians who taught me that technique. It conserves energy. You, look, you keep your head down and you do small steps. And they called, they called it Roman walking. Now here we are, look. Here we are, everyone. I'm going up here. So here we are, here's the junction point. I think it, I've walked over there as well. I have been over there when I've done a big sweep round. I've done all the Quantox. I was out here a lot over the part. I haven't been out here last year. I came out. Yeah. And then the year before, yeah, we only came out for what once last year, once. The year before that, I'd been out twice. All right, here we go, folks, up this. But this was, um, well, it doesn't look like it was flooded, but I expect some water drained off it. This will take me up now, up a bit higher, so that I can see over towards Hinkley Point and the different coombs. <sighs> Shepherd's coomb, slaughterhouse coomb, adder's coomb, hodder's coomb, <sighs> Holford coomb, all coombs. It's a very coomy place. But, like I say, um, earlier when I was right down there, I looked up and right over there, on the hillside, I'm just zooming in of those deer. Now, they would, if I come back this way later, just say I do, because of time reasons, they would greet me on the way back. See? They would greet me on the way back. They know, they're watching me. They probably remember me from last year. So, I've been up there, I've been all round. And I've looked forward to coming out here again. I haven't been too upset by not being able to get over here because I've explored it all. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't want to come back to enjoy its beauty. I mean, look, the heather's out. Look, the heather. Heather and gorse. Ferns. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. And we might see some ponies in a minute as well. And maybe more deer. So let me just have a look at my watch out of interest. I wasn't rushing. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, a thing, you know, where you have to a race. I wasn't trying to break any records to get up it. It's 12 o'clock. It's taken me an hour. Less than an hour, because I stopped it in the shop and went to the ladies and chatted to the shopkeeper. They shut at one. They won't be open, but it's a possibility the pub might be open on the way back. Bicknoller Inn. Of course, you pick up from Bicknoller over the other path that I used last year. 
you um, pick up the Coleridge Way, which is what Coleridge and Wordsworth created, weaving in and out of the patchwork quilt, stopping at various pubs en route to Minehead, which is coming into view for quite clearly now. Dunkley Beacon, I can see. I can see um, Butlins. Yeah, there's all these different ways you can follow routes exploring. I know that is a way that I haven't done yet. Another way that I could have come up. I've got a feeling I have done it, actually, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the cows up here as well. This is our beautiful Quantock Hills, everyone. I'm very, very happy to be out. Very, very happy indeed. Even if I can only ever come out here once a year, and maybe when I am pretty ancient, somebody will bring me out at least to Holford to sit on the green for a picnic to bring back all my childhood memories uh, just reminding people that I've been coming here since a small child um, with m my bigger sisters I think brought me out here and my dad I'm not sure whether my mum ever came it's possibly possible she did um, I know all those tracks going over there by the way like I said, I, I've done the whole of the Quantocks. I haven't done perhaps every single little nook and cranny track, but general. See, there's a little nook and cranny one there. I just best to keep to the main tracks, folks, if you don't want to be caught by an adder or a tick. It'd be nice to see an adder. I've never taken a photograph of an adder. So... They will be out more tomorrow, I think, when the weather's really hot. This is a very good day for me to come out today. It is going to reach 25 degrees, but we've got the breeze and some cloud. Apparently, t uh, the next four days after today are going to be blistering heat. Um, possibly reaching 30 degrees. Um, I do tend to be careful now. I will probably still go out, but uh, local and small walks. Right, there's a Beacon Hill over there, leading to the plantation. Big Nola Post is just down there. I'll just home into it, because that's where we're going to turn off to go down to the Glen. Shepherd's Coombe. That's Big Nuller Post, everyone. There's a few people out walking. Over there. And somebody over there as well. So you, you do get people out. Now, I don't, as people know who follow me, I tend to go out in the week. Um, because you do get more people out at the weekend. For obvious reasons. Now, I, ha I, I don't... I came out of that one time, but I don't know how bad it was when the people were all furloughed and everyone was off work and the kids were off school. I don't know how bad it got out here. I did think about that for um, for the for the hills. I just, I did wonder if they would be overdone by people. That's a subtle colours and that's a bit richer purple and that's more lilac colour isn't it? Over there's the hill fort, that's Dalbury Hill Fort right over there. That big hump there, that's Dalbury Hill Fort. Ancient tribes walked here. Some of the big tracks that you see are actually marching tracks going way back to the Saxons and, be and before. I believe um, there were tribes out here. Um, there's various marching routes. Macmillan Way is one, which goes straight up across, straight up across 
marching routes for, 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 for tribes and soldiers. Now there's some people over there on the track. I sometimes, I use that one sometimes going or coming back. That might be a route I'll use on the way back. And there's another track over there, that over there, that I might also come back. Depending on time would depend whether I go down round that hill or not, and then or or I go down Weakham, or I go down Weakham. It depends on the time. Totally on the time. Um, it's going to be a good hour going down through. Um, I haven't even got there yet to start the walk down Holford, but that's going to be a good hour just doing that. An enjoyable hour. That's why I'm doing it first. I want to enjoy it. Normally on my walks back there's a little bit more urgency when I've got to catch a bus. A little bit more worry about um, well, missing it and all that sort of thing. So the only good thing about coming out an hour later, the buses run much later than they do from Cheddar back to Western. I mean, that's six o'clock and that's it. Here, they're supposed to be the last one about half past seven. But of course, then I've still got to link up with a, with a train. There's not that many trains after about eight o'clock. There might be one. And there's one at two minutes past, and they say there's another one at 23 minutes past. So I don't know how true that is. So I want to get back for the half past six latest bus. Okay? So I got to the stage in just about an hour, which is good. And on the way back, I would be going downhill. Now this will be boring to anyone who drives because they'll say, we're not interested in how you get there or the intricacies of it. But believe me, you never know when you might not have a vehicle. What with this pressure to get electric cars? What with people losing their jobs and their homes? A lot of people might not be able to afford a car very soon. Right, see somebody was sat in the heather. I'm going to turn off now. I think as a person. I'm just going to turn off. Right, but not a post fence there. And this is the way down to Holford. This is way down. Yeah, there's various tracks that you can follow. One there. I usually keep my eyes peeled with deer. I tend to quite often, see there's a track I can sometimes come down as well. And there's a lovely heather. I'll try and get some pictures of the heather. Yeah, it's not big, you know, it's quite, in fact, it's quite nippy. But we are up high. I've sat here before now with various children and been here with my ex-husband and my children when they were small. I've been here with friends. I've been here with my kids when they were a bit older as well. Georgia. Georgia came out for walks with me here. I've been down here, I brought Zara here once, but Zara's not really into walking. So she sort of was very good. She never really moaned Zara, you know. But, um... She she doesn't. She, I'd like her to like walking really, because I think it would be good for her, you know. But she says it wouldn't be because it's not for her. She likes watching my videos. She appreciates nature, you know, greenery and all that. <sighs> Feel the heat on me now. I'm going to put the hat on. Just going down this exposed bit.
I'm not going to video the whole way. This has been captured many, many times by me over the years. Going down here, seeing the deer on the hills. You know, this is a familiar sight for anyone who follows my videos. But like I said, I used to be out here a lot. I'd be up and down here all the time on various routes. This is, like I said, it's the first time for a year. Yeah, first time for a year. Another thing, after I visited here, it wasn't long after, I uh, went over to stay in Lynmouth and did a lot of walking over that way. Valley of the Rocks. All, all over the hills there and, and, and the coastal paths. I did four days of hiking, which ended with me walking from Porlock to Minehead and staying in a hotel there, I, I was using hotels last year, expensive, £76 a night, but you've got a full really good breakfast. Um, yeah, so, and, and I, from mine head the next morning I um, caught a bus back to Taunton and got on the train. It wasn't so straightforward getting to Lynmouth. I had to get two trains and a bus to get to Barnstable and then get a bus from Barnstable to Lynmouth. But it was still enjoyable. It was a really peak of the Covid thing and there's no one on the trains, really. I, went, I, I had whole carriages to myself. It was quite empty today. So anyway, this is it. This is what I love. I love being out here. I feel at home when I'm out here. This, especially this part. This is the bit I love the most where I'm going now. Over and out.